Hi, today is Friday, February 11. I'm Mike Malcolm, and here's what's coming up at the Church of St. Mary. All of last weekend's snow is melted. We're back in business, and I will see you at Mass this weekend. The 2021 tax statements are available on the church website. If you go to churchofstmary.com slash statements, there will be instructions on how you can download your very own PDF and then use that to itemize your taxes. If you wish, you could also call the parish office. We will have somebody print your statement for you and then make that available to you maybe the next time you're on campus or next weekend at Mass. The Diocesan Faith and Works Annual Appeal is coming up very soon. We're doing it a, a little bit earlier than the rest of the diocese because we have the parish mission coming up and we just don't want to have two different things, two different major things going on at the same time. Father John Urock is a friend of Father Jack's. They knew each other in their seminary days. He's the pastor of the Church of the Magdalene in Wichita, Kansas. That's him preaching at Mass uh, in his church. He is coming here to the Church of St. Mary at the very end of February, February 27, 28, and March 1st, for our parish mission. His title of the mission is Becoming Fully Alive as Missionary Disciples. I'm kind of excited to see how that all um, will present itself. He is going to be awesome, and I will see you there at the mission. If you wish to help out, come to the mission, but um, come a few minutes early and consider being a greeter for the mission. If you want to get more information about that, you can call Deacon Rich Bender at the church office. Now, a few months ago, back in 2021, Catholic Charities was a major player in welcoming a number of Afghan refugees to become our new Oklahoma neighbors. Church of St. Mary parishioners gave money to help furnish some of the apartments for these new Oklahomans. And uh, just an accounting of that, Jackie Fusco, our director of outreach, was kind of the coordinator of our effort as a parish. And she says that um, we were able to donate a lot of furnishings towards the apartments of the, the uh, new Afghan Oklahomans. We gave, as a parish, 32 twin mattresses, 34 twin frames, 8 queen mattresses, 8 queen frames, 4 kitchen sets, 20 club chairs, 20 sofas, 20 vacuums, 42 trash cans, 20 microwaves, and 20 irons. And we had enough left over to give Catholic Charities a check for $10,000. And then they have continued to spend that as the Afghan families have needs. So thank you for welcoming the stranger. And they're no longer strangers. They're Okies, just like us. And I'm sure that they're grateful. Thank you for all that you do. And I will see you sometime soon.